Lord, he has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. I am so glad. I will rejoice, for he has made me glad. He has made me glad. I am so glad. I will rejoice, for he has made me glad. Everybody will say, well, it's a day of joy, as a matter of fact. These uh, politicians, as associates of the uh, FCT minister, are all gathered here. And uh, what you can observe is that everyone is happy and um, having to take uh, a lot of drinks and food and so on, as the name implies. It's a luncheon on here today. Um, a few things are going to happen here today because uh, there will be goodwill messages um, from... Uh, different people, like associates and so on. There will be a toast to the 10th Legislative the Assembly of uh, Rivers State. There is also going to be um, other remarks uh, by the Speaker of the River State House of Assembly, Right Honorable Martin Amewule, DSSRS. There's also going to be some speeches going to be made by His uh, Excellency um, with other people. Uh, the Excellency Yeson Mike. Uh, FCT minister and live bencher is going to be making some uh, speeches here. He's be delivering some speeches here today. So it's going to be a long day if you ask me. Uh, so stay tight as we bring you all the proceedings from this point. Let's go to the Galleria now and find out what's going on.
Hans. Thank you very much, the Fragile Dance Company. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we've come to a very important part of today's occasion. Now, as we're all aware, today's event is being aired live on national television, and so we must make the best of our time. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'd like to welcome the men for whom we have all gathered today. The members of the River State House of Assembly that are here with us for their goodwill message. We all know why we are here to honor them. And first I'd like to welcome to start the goodwill message segment of today's occasion, none other than the speaker. Welcome the assembly members for their goodwill message, but I'd like to start with the leader, that is the speaker. I'd like to specially recognize the assembly members that are here. First, with the speaker of the House of Assembly, and then in no particular order. None other than the right, the honorable. Martins Chike Amehule DSSRS. Please give him a round of applause. Ladies and gentlemen, while he's here, I'd like to also welcome Honorable Major Jack. Please step forward. Please give him a round of applause. <laughs> Honorable Linda Somiari Stewart, a round of applause. Let's keep clapping as they make their way here. Honorable Franklin Uchenna Wabochi. Honorable Christopher Ofix Kabang. Honorable Azeru Opara. Honorable Enemi Alabo George. Honorable Tonya Smart Adoki, Honorable Granville Tekenari Wellington. Please let's keep clapping as they come forward. Honorable Solomon Wami, Honorable Bernard Mba, Honorable John Dominic Iderima, Honorable Queen Uwuma Tony Williams, Honorable Lolo Isaiah Opwende, Honorable Peter Abe, Honorable Igwe Obe Afoji. Honorable Justina Emeji, Honorable Ignatius Onwoka, Honorable Chimeze Wankwo, Honorable Lemchi Prince Nyeche, Honorable Barile Nwako, Honorable Emilia Loki Amadi, Honorable Nkemjika Ezekwe, Honorable Davis Arnold Okobiriari, Honorable Sylvanus Wankwo, Honorable Gerald Afoji. Please give them a resounding round of applause. And of course, the Deputy Speaker, Honorable Dumle Maol. Please, let's put our hands together for him. Thank you, the 
Denver State House of Assembly members would like for them to please take a bow. Take a bow at this moment. A round of applause for them as they take a bow. Yeah. Please, let's give them a standing ovation. Ladies and gentlemen, give them a standing ovation. Well done, congratulations. Everybody say to me so much sensational dealing. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we're going to be taking speeches. We're going to be taking our speeches very quickly, ladies and gentlemen. And first to give us the speech this evening is the PDP state chairman. Please put your hands together as we welcome Honorable Aaron Chukwemeka to the podium. Power to the people. Power to the assembly members. Power to the elders of our party. Power to the New Rivers women. His Excellency, the FCT Minister, the former Governor of River State, Chief Barrister E.M. Wiki, GSSRS, Live Venture. All right, Honorable Speaker, River State of the Assembly, and your able. Wife, right honorable 
Martin Chica met with the DSSRS. The chairman of our Elders Forum, Chief Frederick Araba, DSSRS. Distinguished Senator Bernard and Piggy, DSSRS. Distinguished Senator Olwa Loyeso, DSSRS. Former Distinguished Senators here present. Former Deputy Speaker. Our elder brother, Osijo Kocha, SAM. House of Assembly members and your able wives that are seated here, the 27 of you, I recognize you. House of Rest members representing us in Abuja that are here, I've seen all of you smiling. I want to welcome you to this great occasion. The state members of my great party, my colleagues that are seated here, the working committee and other members of the party, party chairmen that are here. Our leader, I want to thank you for giving us an opportunity to celebrate those that have made us proud. The 27 assembly members that are seated with their elbow wives here that we are not being influenced by anything that money can do. I want to thank all of you. And to say to the whole people that are here that you are my party members. All of you voted for me on that fateful day that I was elected as the state chairman of our great party. I saw all of you and I remain grateful to you and to say that I am happy with you that you have stood firm and steadfast, that you are PDP members and you are PDP members. <laughs> Let me also thank your wives. They say behind every successful man, there is a woman. Your wives have proven that they are solidly behind you for being here today. <laughs> and their husbands, because it's male and female. This uh, gender, gender thing was initiated by our leader, Chief Barretta Iyewike. <laughs> that in everything we do, women must be part of it. So we are proud of the women and proud of your husband. So for those that their husbands are here, I want to thank you for your standing behind their wives, then for standing behind their husbands. May God bless all of you. I want to thank you and to say that God, who has kept you to remain resolute, to remain steadfast, will see you through in this journey in Jesus' name. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause once again for the PDP State Chairman. Thank you. It's important that we recognize the husbands of uh, the House of Assembly members who are women. You know, they say the wife of the landlord is the landlady, but the husband of the landlady is the landlady's husband. He's not automatically the landlord. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, very quickly, I'd like to welcome the APC chairman here in River State, none other than Sir Tony Okocha. Please put your hands together for him for his very brief, very, very brief goodwill message. Yes, Excellency, I, I am always not given to intimidation. The chairman of PDP wanted to intimidate me. They will have jumped out of that trap. APC! We do <laughs> APC! We do Renewed hope! Tinibu is the president. Stand on your mandate, we shall stand on your mandate, on your mandate, 
See, I'll not try us again next time. <laughs> Your Excellency, the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory. Our leader, the leader of men and resources, the unparalleled achiever, the whiskey of Nigeria. Your Excellency, is the one, Yesum Wiki, C O N G S S R S, Life Venture. Excellency, time will fail me because I'm given two minutes to begin to go through the table high and low. But my business here is to join my colleague, the chairman of PDP, to congratulate our people, our friends. Excellency, I'm the loser here. I say I'm the loser because I made frantic efforts to woo this man into the APC, but it failed. <laughs> Not even the political gimmick that they perfectly exhibited. I did everything I could. Yes, let's see, I'm also aware that they refused the filthy locker of funds to sell their consciences. And so they deserve this very onerous occasion. And I trust you. I know you. I know that you know what to do at every, every given time and point. I'd like to join you, Your Excellency, and all colleagues here to congratulate the speaker. I call him the speaking speaker of the River State House of Assembly. Very vibrant, very resourceful young man. <laughs> Let me also extend my regards and my goodwill to your, your colleagues, the Deputy Speaker, and all members of Assembly who are here present. It was not an easy trek. It was a ding-dong affair. But in all, today, I told the press when we were talking, that the issues in River State are beginning to narrow down. The people who are leading the legislative arm has been properly defined, and no Jupiter can obtain it. So I congratulate all of you, and God bless you. Thank you. Thank you so much, CTC Chairman of the All Progressives Congress in River State. Very quickly, I'd like to welcome for his own goodwill message and very brief speech, and I'd like to emphasize very, very brief. None other than the South South Vice Chairman of the All Progressives Congress. Please put your hands together for Chief Victor Giandom. Thank you. The Honorable Minister of the Federal Capital Territory of Nigeria, Performing Minister, Change Maker, my brother, Chief Barrister Yenson Wike, the Dependable Speaker of the River State House of Assembly and your beautiful wife, the Deputy Speaker, who is my own brother, and your beautiful wife, our committed icon of democracy, 
members of the River State House of Assembly and your wives, my brother, Senator Bernard and Piggy, and my sister, Patricia and Piggy, Senator Orwell Yenso, our leader, Chief Fedi Anabrabra, our leader, Chief OCJ Okocha, let me stand on already established protocol. For me, I'm here this evening to honor democracy. Because elementary knowledge of what is called assembly is a gathering of people, not gathering of few. So we are proud and happy to be associated with all of you because you are the proper members of the River State House of Assembly. And in spite of all rascality that our state have witnessed in the past one year, you have remained reasonable, resolute, tenacious, and continue to be the forerunner of democracy in our state. You have all done well. You deserve more than this luncheon. I will continue to respect all of you. We will continue to identify with all of you. I am not a member of the People's Democratic Party. And I will not be a member of the People's Democratic Party. My party, the All Progressive Congress, is a better party than the PDP. But the members of the River State House of Assembly who are of PDP extraction are exceptional. Thank you and God bless all of you. Thank you very much, the South South Vice Chairman of the All Progressives Congress. Ladies and gentlemen, please once again let me emphasize for us to be very time conscious. Protocol has been established so we can rest or stand or lean by the protocol as we progress. I'd like to welcome for his goodwill message an elder statesman and a former deputy speaker of the House of Representatives, none other than Right Honorable Prince Chibodong Muche. Please let's put our hands together as he comes forward for his very, very brief Your Excellency, Right Honorable Barrister Yeson Wike, CON, Life Bencher, former Governor of River State, and the current Minister of the FCT, who has brought so much pride to Niger Delta and to River State, who has put Abuja on the map of international capitals world order. I recognize you, Your Excellency. The leader of the Elders Council, our senators, I recognize you, members of House of, Assembly, House of Reps, and the Speaker of the House of Assembly, I commend you for your steadfastness. You are standing firmly on the right path. Democracy is anchored on the principle of different arms of government and separation of powers to ensure checks and balances. You have stood for those principles. Nigerians appreciate you. And those members who have stood by you are standing by the truth. Democracy is a rule of the majority, not the minority. Your members, the leader, my member, Queen Tolly Williams, I commend them. I've always told them that when you believe in a cause, stand by it. It reminds me of the pioneer house in 1999, where His Excellency Gary Woman Abba and I stood for those principles. When we overrode the presidential veto and passed the NDDC Act in spite of the president's refusal. So the assembly is the bastion of democracy. It's a thankless job sometimes, but you have the support 
of a consistent man, Nelson Wike, who doesn't forget those who stand by him. Our people are proud of you. Our people are proud of you. Please continue on that path. River State is united. We are a rainbow coalition. I saw the APC chairman here speaking very eloquently. National Vice Chairman South South saying that this party is better, but the PDP is where the power is. PDP! PDP! So, Mr. Speaker, once again, please continue on that path. History will vindicate you. The people will vindicate you. You are with the masses. May God bless all of you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Right Honorable Chibudom Muche. Ladies and gentlemen, please bear with us as I continue to insist that we stick to a very, very short time for our speeches, not more than two minutes. I'd like to welcome the former senator representing River South East Senatorial District and former governorship candidate on the platform of the SDP, Senator Magnus Ngay Abe. Please put your hands together for him as he comes forward. <laughs> Thank you very much. Your Excellency, my friend, my brother, the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, all other protocols observed. I respectfully acknowledge the Speaker of the River State House of Assembly and his wife and indeed all members of the House of Assembly for whom we are here gathered today. Before I say the few words I will say, let me most respectfully acknowledge the presence of my original Oga, O.C.J. Okocha, Esquire. And let me say clearly that whatever little law that I know today I learned it in Manuchim Chambers. And that is one place where they teach you real law. What is written in the Constitution and what works in practicality. So I stand here today as one of the leaders of River State. I think having served in the River State House of Assembly, where I was one time voted the best legislator, and having also served in the Senate, I qualify as somebody who can open his mouth to say a few words on the situation in our states. The first thing I will say, sir, is this. It is, I don't want to use the word an insult to Rivers people, but it is disrespectful of Rivers people for three people to carry a big stick around and be appropriating the resources of our state. It is wrong. And I want to make that clear. The second thing I would like to say is that sometimes people may intend one thing, but God will bring another thing to pass. In this country, we have always advocated for the independence of the legislature. The real power of the Constitution is not in the governors, it's in the legislature. And the reason, the reason governors continue to exercise near autocratic power in our country is because they have the support of the legislature. And for the first time, constitutionally, the power of the legislature in this country will be tested up to the highest level. And I want to assure every reverse man and woman that it is a legislature that represents the people of our state and the real power of our state, particularly the power of appropriation of funds, is vested in the legislature. And a democracy is ruled by the majority. 27 members of the House are the River State House of Assembly. There is nothing new there. The second thing I would like to say, based on the little law that OCJ Okocha taught me, is this. The Constitution does provide that if you 
uh, defect to another party, you can lose your seat. But the only way you can lose your seat is that the presiding officer must declare your seat vacant. I left the PDP on the floor of the Senate. David Mack did not declare my seat vacant. And so I did not lose my seat. <laughs> Members of the River State House of Assembly, whether they left their party or did not leave their party, they are welcome to leave. The only person who can declare their seat vacant is Amehule. Have you declared anybody's seat vacant? You have not. That is the position of the law as taught me by OCJ Okocha. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Very strong comments made there by Senator Magnus Ngeabe. Thank you very much. We'll move on very quickly, very quickly, without any more delays. I'd like to welcome former senator representing Rivers East Senatorial District, Senator George Thompson Sekibo. Please let's put our hands together for him. I'm sure there are some very key words that we will hear from him this evening. Excellency and our leader, Barisa Yensom is the one wiki, the Honorable Minister of the Federal Capital Territory. Your Excellency, the Right Honorable Speaker, and your colleagues, permit me to rest on the already established protocol. <laughs> Today, the area I want to talk about is character and integrity. Your Excellency, for a man to withstand earthquake and such crisis in River State, in Prozi, and then have committed 27 young members who behave in character, who behave in attitude, we behave in strength. You are a human builder. If you don't build strong personality, and then with the raging battle in River State, you will have been naked by now. But because you build the right honorable speaker and all the members of the House of Assembly, they know the law. They follow the law. They have been consistent in following. They have been very reliable and dependable allies. In actions and in deeds, they have done very well. My brother, Mark Monsabi, has said, has said it all. The law is very clear. It is the speaker who declares somebody's speech, speech seat vacant and not any other person, either anyone, anyone. It is in the power of the speaker to declare a seat vacant. Now that you have not declared any person seat vacant, whether they cross, they didn't cross, no one has crossed to anywhere. And in any case, during the past LGA and World Congresses, the member representing me in the Assembly was in PDP Congress. He also voted. I don't think he's in APC. If he's in APC, we will not allow him to join us to vote. So I congratulate more. Mr. Speaker, you have done very well. Your commitment, your reliability, your dependence is compared to the norm. Thank you very much and God bless you.
thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, that again was Senator Judge Thompson Sekibo. We'll take this very quickly. I'd like to welcome Honorable Solomon Bob. Please let's put our hands together for him. Please put your hands together for Honorable Solomon Bob, a member of the House of Representatives. Your Excellency, our leader, yes, the Minister, um, I'd like to stand on the protocol already established. Um, I'm here because our leader, Marit Leader, Honorable uh, Kitchen, is unable to make it. We are very delighted to be here. The um, previous speaker before me have said it all. Um, Senator Magnus Abe and Senator Sakibo have eloquently made the point. And I'd like to adopt the points they have made. We are very happy and very proud of this House of Assembly. It's probably the best. I've not been too long in politics, but since I've been here, it's probably the best we've had in this state. We are proud of Martin Zamehule and his colleagues. And we stand with you. The rest of us are very proud of you. We um, are certain that um, sooner than later, um, we'll get to the point where the whole world understands that what we're fighting for is nothing other than um, what is just and fair and how to put River State on the right path. Um, and the point made by Senator Abbey is very correct. What is happening in River State today is regrettable. You know, it, it's, it's sad that you won't call it an insult, but it's actually an insult. We have not seen anything like this anywhere in this country. So we thank you for standing um, uh, with River's people, for standing by our leader, and we wish you all the best going forward. And we, uh, we assure, you assure you of our support every time. Thank you, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, please let's give a warm round of applause once again for Honorable Solomon Bob, representing Abwa Odua and Ahuda. Thank you. so much thank you please very quickly i'd like to welcome for his very brief message this evening senator Olwell onyeso please with a round of applause can we welcome him to the podium Our great leader, the Minister of FCT, the most visible politician in Nigeria today outside the president. I want to rely on established protocol. I didn't know I was going to speak when I looked at the array of very important reverse men, but I'm happy that I've been called to speak. The speaker, you see when people say, uh, you are the real speaker, you are not the this. There's never been another speaker. So there is no reason for comparison. There has not been any other speaker. I'm not a lawyer, but the little I know about law, you have been elected, and since then, no other election has taken place. And so you remain the speaker, and you don't have anybody contesting with you. But I want to say that we're all happy to have you in that particular position. A lot of people would have used this particular situation to do some mischief, but you've shown character. And I want to extend this regard to all your members. You have all shown character. You are men and women of character. And this will follow you all through your life. Be rest assured that the state will honor you. Our leader does not forget a good turn. So you have done what Napoleon could not do. I am proud of you. Thank you very much for keeping us as one state. Thank you and God bless you.
Thank you very much. That again was Senator Olwell Onyeso representing Rivers East Senatorial District in the 10th Assembly. I'd like to welcome from the Rivers Southeast Senatorial District, none other than Senator Barinada Mpigi. Please let's put our hands together for him. Your Excellency, our leader of the trendy modern river state, right. other leaders of the state seated here, especially Mr. Speaker of the River State House of Assembly, my wife Patricia, and other friends. Your Excellency, tonight, dinner has been why, maybe we we'll call it luncheon. Looking at the reflect of what is happening here, Your Excellency, I never knew I would be called to speak, but I've just created something for the purpose of tonight, so that at any point in time, I can submit it to the press. But before then, Your Excellency, let me ask a question. I spoke with my wife as we were coming here. I said, if we were to ask to write a book on what is happening in River State, what title do you think you were to, be, to give? My wife said, dagger at lunchtime. I called my daughter that was away. That's away. She said, Daddy, it could be a misery of a dagger. And in a simpler term, I turn it and I say, It was a betrayer at lunch. Your Excellency, before I go into my book, let me say we thank God that you are alive. You know, at lunchtime, he never prepared for a war. Two people sitting at your left and right could have been gone. I saw how what happened to your dreams. When we sit down, reliably how you confide in people, and you decide to allow your dream, say it. Could that be a betrayer? On the other side, we look at misery. That would be a question for another day, Your Excellency. Now, for the purpose of our tonight gathering, Your Excellency, I am from the Rivers Southeast Senatorial District. And let me quickly stand to say, I stand before you tonight filled with gratitude and respect. As we gather to celebrate a remarkable journey, marked by resilience, dedication, and a sheer commitment to the progress of River State. This dinner graciously is hosted by our esteemed former governor and current minister, serves as a testament to the bonds to forge in our pursuit of a better tomorrow. As we reflect on the peaceful transition of power in River State since 1999, Your Excellency, let me speak on that because I've pleaded with this lady here to allow me. I see some pastors and men of God. They come out and they say ah, that there is karma and that there is something happening in this state. 
Your Excellency have been with you right from 1990 to today. Your Excellency, in 2003, when Odili was running an election, they tried to make a like every place in here, in this state, bringing people here and there. But until we enter Nandi Wokekuru South and we move across the 23 edges, that was when we managed to secure that victory for him. You led it. Your Excellency, it also happened. The day when they say K-Leg was coming, I was with Magnus Abe, I was with George Tolofari. You gave me an instruction, go and stay with them in Amechi's house. I seized that phone and I said, Amechi, you will not go to the stadium. It was an instruction. If you have gone to the stadium, there won't be anything called what? K-Leg, I won't go to court and there won't be anything called Amechi today. You did it. Your Excellency, let me see. We failed ourselves within the time. I was part of it. Magnus was part of it. You allow us. You told us, this thing is going to be like this. You kept a resort all through the period. Your Excellency, I refused to come because of loyalty. I lost. I was in Abuja when we failed. Your Excellency, we came back on time. And when we came back in the second tenure, you led that synergy. There was nothing at all from the River South East Senatorial District. Your Excellency, through your manipulation, let me say manipulation, today there's a governorship candidate. There's a governor in the River South East Senatorial District. So when pastors and men of God don't understand that there's a synergy with Wige, faithfulness, all what you are seeing, that they say, oh, there's greed, there's one thing. All what you see in River State here is greed. And because they don't understand the weak political mathematics. Your Excellency, let me say, I, my people, want to say thank you. And I'm concluding. And I'm concluding, Your Excellency, by saying, these good people of the River State House of Assembly here, what you are seeing is the beginning of a good thing. As we move ourselves towards the future of tomorrow, look up to him. I failed once, and I quickly overtook. I have gained it back. Your Excellency, my wife Patricia just told me that you can't see the wives of the members' house of assembly, and she refused to do anything. She said, she, Mr. Speaker's wife should pick up 30 million from her immediately. Thank you, Your Excellency. Thank you. Thank you so much. Please let's put our hands once again for Senator Barinada and Piggy representing Tai Oyibo and Eleme. Interesting speech right there. You know they say Thank you. They say that they say that a great speech is like a woman's skirt. It is short enough to keep you interested, but it's long enough to cover all of the important things. So let's keep our speeches very interesting today. I'd like to welcome Elder Statesman, former Attorney General of River State, former President of the Nigerian Bar Association, a very fine lawyer. Please put your hands together for none other than Chief O.C.J. Okocha, Senior Advocate of Nigeria. Excellency, the Honorable Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, 
of Nigeria and our hosts, our former governor of River State, Your Excellencies, respected chiefs, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. I was tempted to start dancing because of the eloquent introduction given by the uh, compere. And then I remembered what uh, Ter Magnus, my loyal and dedicated uh, colleague at the bar, had said. I see the senator from Abuja, Philip Aduda. My brother, welcome. You know, in one or two days, a lot of difference can happen in the landscape. I am an authentic legal luminary. Not a so-called legal luminary. I have been at the bar for 46 years. I was elevated to the rank of senior advocate of Nigeria in 1995. I became president of the Nigerian Bar Association in the year 2000. Longer, long after I had served as Attorney General and Commissioner of Justice of River State from 1990 to 1992. And then I served in the Federal Judicial Service Commission and the National Judicial Council. I've been chairman of the Council of Legal Education and chairman of the Body of Benchers. I was pained when somebody said so-called legal luminaries. No name was mentioned, but even before I knew it, come and see social media. My learned friend, the senator as I call him, Chief Frank Ohua, had to send me some clips where people were already rising in defense of the person they call so-called legal luminary. I remember vividly. I'm not here to sing my own praises. Because you see, equally people have uh, a saying that uh, nobody should start singing his praises. Because they said, no, Oh yeah, we call it in Galaba. That when a, a, a shoot has germinated, it will grow into a tree and it will have branches. But you know, we are in a time when people will not listen and hear words of wisdom. Anybody who read the judgment of the Court of Appeal a few days ago, one telling statement, it is a joke taken too far for three persons to say that they are the legislature of the river state. A joke taken too far. Look at the legislators of river states. Led by Honorable Martin Chike Amehule. Deputy Speaker, Dumle Mao, my little friend. My brother, Megapuye Jack. They are all us, the good people of River State, patriotic citizens of River State, stand in solidarity with you, the authentic legislature in River State. Sadly, the wheels of justice in Nigeria turn slowly, rather too slowly, for our comfort. But my word to you is persevere. Judgment Day is coming. 
judgment day is coming. And we will know on whose side the law is. For me as an individual and as your brother from Oresara in Obio, I assure you, my brother Martin, that God is on your side. I also assure you that the law is on your side. Let us allow the Supreme Court to decide the matter. Thank you all.